When I finished seventh grade, I had no clear path in life. My grades were average at best. I was failing math and my family was dealing with serious financial challenges. I decided to give it my best and learn coding and data science. Within eight months, I landed a remote job by passing the typical master's and PhD requirements listed in job descriptions and while spending only $160 on my education. And I did it while still being in school. In this video, I'll show you the exact steps I took to secure a job and change my life. And I did it as a teenager, so that means you can do it too. Before diving into this field, I was just an average student, not a prodigy, trying to keep up with school. Despite being drawn to machine learning and data science, I struggled with mathematics, a crucial component of these disciplines. During the COVID-19 pandemic, my family faced a severe financial crisis. Desperate to help, I began my journey by watching one-shot programming lectures, like Python in one shot. While these gave me a basic understanding, this approach was flawed. And after two months of effort, I had little results to show for it. I was bombarded with roadmaps, tutorials, and videos, leaving me overwhelmed. One source claimed that mastering Python was enough. Another suggested starting with Excel, SQL, and visualization tools, while some even argued that maths was not a necessary part for data science. Consistency was another challenge. I struggled to manage my time and often felt depressed. My relatives mocked my efforts, doubting my potential. But given my family's challenging situation, I was determined to make a difference and turn things around. First, I established a focused mindset and a strict timetable. For me, the key was embracing the hard way, not the smart way. When I tried to do things in an easy way, I ended up in the same race as everyone else. By committing to the hard way, I set myself apart. I firmly believe in following a structured timetable, especially at the start of any journey. I used to wake up at 5 a.m., start my day by 5.30 or 6 a.m., and learn intensively until noon. After a one hour break, I dedicated the rest of the afternoon to exploring industry trends. From 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., I was back at my desk, deep in study. Now, some people might say, look at Elon Musk and other successful individuals. They wake up at 11 a.m. and they are still rich. I firmly believe that is just an excuse for not being disciplined. These individuals are already successful and can afford to wake up at 5 p.m. and still thrive. Now I wake up around noon and work only three to four hours a day, yet I achieve great results. However, if you're just starting out, never compare your routine to Elon Musk's, mine or anyone else's. We have already spent hundreds of hours of learning. You are just starting out. You are not in our shoes. You're in yours, and you have to spend those hours to master your craft first. Like I was saying, I didn't have good results after watching the one-shot type of videos. So this time, I chose to commit to an extensive series, Durga Sir's Python Lectures. This playlist offers over 200 hours of content, which fits perfectly with my hard way mindset. So I worked through most of these lectures, but I still was not feeling confident enough in my Python coding skills. Then I realized something crucial. Learning is not just about watching videos, it's about hands-on practices. So I turned to Geeks for Geeks. For every topic I studied, I practiced the related questions on Geeks for Geeks, which made a significant difference. My confidence was slowly increasing. Even after all of this effort, I was still facing rejection from companies and couldn't even secure an interview. Then I received an email from an ed tech company offering me content writing job on the topic of Selenium. They were paying me around 25 paise per word, asking for articles of around 5,000 words. I dedicated a month to this project, delivering a top-notch article. They promised payment within seven to 10 days, but it took them two to three months to pay me. And they only sent around 1,700 INR instead of the agreed 2,200 INR. This experience destroyed my morale. I felt exploited, having to wait months for an incomplete payment. To make matters worse, I struggled with speaking English, and my relatives mocked me relentlessly. Despite this setback, I continued my learning journey. What kept me going was the eagerness to do my best and support my family. This incident taught me many valuable lessons, the most important of which was 
patience, a crucial skill I would need moving forward. Mastering Python and solving coding challenges was not the end of my journey. I knew I had to stand out, so I took a different approach. Instead of just focusing on the basics, I delved deeper into design patterns, implementing some of the best principles in my projects. This decision set me apart from the rest. I ventured into the world of machine learning, a journey I have documented in detail in this video. With relentless learning and discipline, I achieved a major milestone, landing my first remote job at a US-based company as a data scientist. But that's not all. The journey took an unexpected turn when the founder of Geeks for Geeks himself invited me for a podcast, recognizing my dedication to learning from their platform. From being a learner on FreeCodeCamp, I transitioned into becoming one of the popular course creators on their platform, sharing my expertise with others. I have created a detailed videos outlining roadmaps for machine learning, data science, MLOps, and more, providing insights into my own journey in machine learning. Moreover, we have established a vibrant WhatsApp community where I personally address your queries via voice notes. When I was starting out, I didn't have access to the right resources, connections, or the right way to learn and do things. Now I give laptops to as many as people as I can. Every few months, I give away laptops to people who show potential. Networking played a crucial role in my journey. I was on a Discord group and eventually a member invited to live with him in Bangalore for a few days. He was well connected and helped me meet many influential people, including Ishan Sharma, with whom my podcast went viral. I also published a course on FreeCodeCamp, which got over a million views. I used to email and message people on LinkedIn, expanding my network and opportunities. I hope my story inspires you to take charge of your journey. Remember, consistency and determination are key. If I can do it, so can you.